Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems and today's system is from the user Bruno2011Pro in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending their system but without further ado guys let's get straight into this. So their system is called the Movisu system. Let's go ahead and uh, get it ready. Workshop, where are we? There it is. Good stuff. Right, let's see what they have got for us here. Oh, lots of colours. Okay. Right. What have we got here? Oh, whoa. What the heck? Right. Hello, I am Bruno2011 Pro and welcome to the Mobisu system. A solar system quite similar to ours. It takes place in a universe where I merge Sonic the Hedgehog, Star Trek and my own stories. Yeah, call me a weirdo. Well, I like Star Trek. I don't know much about... I don't know as much about Sonic. I mean, I probably watched it when I was like... Well, 20 years ago at this point. Um, long time ago. Um, but yeah, Star Trek. I, I like Star Trek. I like the I like the older ones. Um, but yeah, anyways, so uh hope Neptune guy sees it. Well, your wish is granted. Um, right, the system is not stable, so do not press play. Some moves may go crazy, some moves may get ejected, and others planets may get freeze or burns. Okay. So Star itself. Oh, I haven't got law first, hang on. The Morbians, also named Sonic species, are an advanced intergalactic species who helped another species and promoted peace in the whole universe like hippies. They are joined with the others, the United Federation of Galaxies, which is a basically the same as Star Trek but a larger scale. Because in Star Trek it's the United Federation of Planets or Starfleet. Okay, so Star itself, Mobitsu, is a G uh, 2V yellow dwarf star in the middle of its life. The same size and temperature as the Sun. It formed in a supernova from the star Aquilus. So the system is near Aquis Nebulae. A probe named Patrick Star Probe is orbiting Mobitsu for scientific things. Is that it there? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Probe. That's one of those systems with them. Let me click the stuff. I'm clicking once. There you go. It's like the Parker Space Probe. Okay, cool. First up, we got Merku. So, a hot airless mini terror about the size of Mercury. Looks it's pretty beaten up this one as well. Okay. Um, the Mobians love to see their spaceships have the right, right, la la. The Mobians love to see in their spaceships how the night side of Mercury has patches of lava. An incredible thing: the lava makes the night look like hell. The temperature is minus two hundred fifty degrees. Okay. Has a sulfur moon. If there's a space station as well. Okay. Uh, has a moon. Mikri. A sulfur moon with lots of craters. It was believed in the past it had liquid sulfur on its canyons. Okay. There it is. Nice. Looks like we got Watt. It was named Watt because of what the hell is this planet can have ice with 85 degrees. Okay. Ah. Alright. Strange stuff. If we press play then I'm sure that will change. Uh, next up we got Near over here. The Scorch Mini Neptune very close to Mubitsu. It has no moons because of the short range. Although in the night side it rains glass. No crew mission has been sent to this planet. Glowing hot gassy. Oh yeah. Next up we've got Veen. Um, it's the hell of the Mobisu system. Full of lava, uh, volcanoes, thunderstorms, tornadoes and a horrendous green atmosphere of 75% carbon dioxide and 25% sulfur dioxide. So a beautiful place to visit. Uh, due to immense volcanic activity, this is places feared by the Mobians. Also, no crew mission has been sent to this planet. It has no moons. There's a probe there, though. It's a research satellite. If you look underneath, that's your surface. Pretty toxic-y looking place. Venus texture underneath. Okay. Next up, we've got Mobius. Okay, so a much nicer looking world. The jewel of the Mobius system, the home of the Mobian civilization. It's a paradise world, a breathable atmosphere, lush peaches, dense forests, and beautiful plains. This planet is in the center of attention of Alpha Quadrant in the galaxy. Also, its radius and gravity are exactly like Earth ones. Has a lot of, uh, I guess, a lot of probes, stay station, yeah. It's a nice looking world as well. Get a better look at it underneath. There you go. Very nice, and then it has a moon as well. Exactly like our moon. There you go. Okay. It was called Moon because it's literally like they did copy paste the Moon, Little Planet. It's also a Hatswell. What's what, what, Little Planet? Where's that? Is that this one? Little Planet. What, what's that? Oh. Okay. Also, it was the same colour as the. I almost got confused with the same colour there. Right, um. 
it's a hat all world with a beautiful atmosphere, but not as popular as Mobius. Mobius. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next up, we have got Arakan. It's a cold, arid subterra about the size of Mars. The only difference that it has is the red planet. It's the atmosphere is more thick. Lekimos, Frobos, and Tinny, just three boring rocks like <laughs> Phobos, Deimos, and Ceres. Well, scientists started calculating the orbit of Rackens moons and detected that in a few million years it's going to be ejected by Tinny. Let's see all the moons there. Phobos, uh, is this on Tinny? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Next up, we've got Jammed a lot. Jammed a lot. Okay. It's a banded gas giant for Massa 2 Jupiter's. It looks amazing from the distance. It has a lot of colours. The Mobians send in many probes here, like Lassini, Julio, and who could fit Travelers 1 and 2. That's their version of Voyager, isn't it? Um, okay. So that's the probes. What's this? Got Lifey. It's a uh, temperate ocean planet or ocean moon with the size of Arakan. With its beautiful atmosphere, 15 degrees Celsius temperature because it's tidally lot or heated by a jammed a lot. Mobian scientists have started theorizing if it has life. It looks a lot like Le Leif from Kerbal Space Program. Uh, Lifey's atmosphere is slightly more rich in methane and ammonia, but still breathable. Colonies have settled there and live their lives without any pro preoccupation and also without a spacesuit. Okay, there it is. Next up, we got Law Lyor. It's another hell with an atmosphere totally made of sulfur dioxide. Jam dot's gravity crushes this moon and makes it extremely volcanically active. So this is like your IO equivalent. Okay, so you got this one here, Surup here. It's a cold, uh, the size of the moon. And then it's a, the other one's a boring rock, apparently. There it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, next up, we're heading to Sat Satul. It's another gas giant of mass of 1.5 Jupiter. That's rings like Saturn. Okay, there you go. Boring rock. <laughs> Actually called cool, boring rock. Boring rock, boring rock, boring rock. Titan light. Okay. Basically, your Titan equivalent. So, there you are underneath it as well there you are okay next up we're heading to kin here this one doesn't have a description looks like it's a random rocky uh we've got a green one here uranium very green oh yeah most dangerous planet in the universe a gas giant that contains a lot of uranium it was a planet that caused all the massive extinctions in mobius because an asteroid passed by was attracted by the gas of uranium contaminated with uranium and left free in the solar system some asteroids were unlucky enough to be attracted by Mobius gravity and kaboom the impact killed 99.9 percent .9 of life on it the federation was worried about this so all the species in the universe joined together and deleted all the uranium in it that's just a boring gas giant okay has a moon as well plutonia the only moon of uranium, the purple that you can see in its surface is plutonium. The moon is used to call uranium and plutonium the radioactive twins. When uranium was still radioactive, this moon helped stop the creation of nuclear space missile. Imagine throwing the moon into the planet then. Oh, I'll be explosive. Right, uh, next up we've got Can over here. No description for that. Then we have Neptunian. It literally is Neptune. It's one of the best planets in the universe. Although it may seem like a simple blue gas giant, looks like Neptune. Neptunium was named after the best universe animals. YouTuber. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah. Hey. And the Mobians made a monolith in order to him. Oh, I'm honoured. Hey. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's named by the Abba song. Oh, yeah, I know the song. They don't know if Neptunium got like that song, so say it in the video, please. Oh, well, there you go. I am familiar with that song. Neptunium guy's monolith. It's actually named after me. This is the first time I think anyone's actually named like a thing after me. No, 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 there must be people who had it before, but like a monolith. No one's made the monolith. We've probably had some planets called Neptunian guy planets and stuff. But this one's just called Neptunian. Yes, I like it. And then we have Gimme. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. There it is. Nice. So, obviously, the creator of this system had some class with their music tastes. That's all I'll say. <laughs> uh, next up. We've got Kun here. Kun, Kun, how you want to call it? We've got E L. Con, Kun, Ken. 
<laughs> okay. So the eel one we just visited. Just a ball and freeze rock. It's the first planet in the system. Also, the temperature is 2K. And then we have Ra. What's Ra? Where's that? Is that this one? So what is this? What's all this then? Dark, mysterious. System failure. Initiating reboot. Reboot completed. Binary translator not found. Loading. Loading completed. And it's a load of binary. I'm going to try and translate what that says. If that's binary code, I'm going to put that in the translator and see if that comes up with anything. Okay, everyone. So, the binary code is actually about this planet in particular. So, this object, Ra, is a Dyson sphere made by the Rakians. It's made to observe the Mobians, and when the time is perfect, they attack. No one knows about its existence. Also, you didn't need to know about this. Say goodbye. Spooky. Spooky. Spooky, okay, hidden binary code, what's that all about? Interesting, yeah, nice nice little addition there, little something a little different. So there we go, that is the lineup of this system, so let us know what you thought down below in the comments of this interesting one, I enjoyed that, hope you guys did as well. With that all said and done everybody, make sure you have a great day out there, stay safe, if you uh, like the video, let's even go for 100 likes as well, subscribe, help us on the journey to 50,000 subscribers, with that all said and done everybody, make sure you have a great day out there, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.